between these two teams for the first four games, and here we go with game number five on EA Sports. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Get some piece of it and we'll play it on. Tymon's on the attack in the offensive zone. Back to the blue line. Oh, what a stop by Bolotov. Score! And a quick hush to the crowd as the road team strikes. Well, when you set the tone and you get on the board first, you take the crowd out of it. You silence the building, James. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Ontario's on the board quickly here in this one, and wow, what a start. Yeah, this feels good if you're the away team. This is exactly the way you wanted to start. This is exactly the way the coach drew it up, and maybe even better. Puck scooped up by Drew. Drives to the paint! Comes up with a monster save in front. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. Tries to get the puck to McCartney. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. 1-0 the score. Cody's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Great stop by Molotov! And some good footwork to kick it away. Here's a chance! Takes a shot! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! McGregor's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Houdon. Ontario's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Big hit in that freeze up possession. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a blast. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here they come up along the wing. They put the puck into the offensive end. And now he passes it to Tony. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. From behind the net. Quick feed to Kroos. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave of momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Ontario's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Hellenius wins the draw. They'll go to work offensively here. their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. As a goaltender, you're always working on different exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time, he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. Ontario's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Hellenius has won it here at center. Takes the pass. Quick pass to Pinelli. Back at the point, they set it up. Here's a side to slap shot. Wow. Here's a short pass to Pinelli. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. And it's picked up by the defense. There's a textbook body check. Next Well, and that 
that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Shoots it, and that caroms off a body in the lane. The Roadrunner scoop it up along the boards. He got all of that one. Moves it to Camper. The Roadrunners are on the attack. Ontario's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the feed. And he takes the pass. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Handles the pass and center. Moves it quickly over to Barrow. Club save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Ontario's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. He got all of that hit on the play. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. From point blank, and he can't find it net. Uh, and I like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's all about creating. That's exactly what happens. And then the puck is looking a little fine as it makes its way towards the net, and it misses. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Moves the puck. Here's a shot! Denies him in close. Quick feed to Connaughton. Slick feed. Houdon's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Stones him in front. Quick pass to Houdon. Too much traffic in the lane. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The rain had the puck against the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Smart defensive play there. Takes it and looks ahead. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Hellenius plays the puck. And now it's grabbed by Pinelli. There's a shot and a save. Takes it across the blue line. Pokes it away in his own end. Oh, the inside of the post and stays out a game of inches. The Ice Hogs need to find a way back into the game, and that's not going to cut it when you wire one off the post. It's a frustrating night, and it just goes from bad to worse. Tucson's looking to break out. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And here comes the judgment from the official. The rain have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. The Roadrunners will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Feeds it over to Drew. Here's a short pass to McCartney. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Doty's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice job tying up his opponent. No room for that one to get through. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. McCartney's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. And it's a quick pass to Jenik. And that's knocked away by Tanaton. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. 
Dell is a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Leonard's an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Ontario's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Here comes the call. Houdon's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And that's poked away by Santini. Now a quick pass to Thomas. And he slides it quickly to Tynan. The Roadrunners will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And that's off a stick. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. And they manage to clear it. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Ontario's got a hold of it along the wall. Houdon's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Well, even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that PP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. Made the save on the play. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Ontario's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Moves it to Fegamo. Now he takes it over the line. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Doty's got it against the boards. Oh, that goes off his helmet. Hopefully he's okay. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's going to be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the Mass are a lot better today. Byron puts it on net. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. just $10. Make sure to stop off at any team store here in the arena. Pick up your specially priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight is just 10 bucks. Hurry, as supplies are limited.
Second period set to get underway. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Ontario's got a comfortable lead here because they've owned possession time. They've got shots through to the net, and they've really controlled most of the game. The Roadrunners go to work on offense. Takes the feed. And that goes off course off a of body. Moves it quickly over to Madden. Oh, the official saw that trip, and the hand is up. And let's see what the call is. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Although it's been a frustrating power play, they have to find a way to open the ice up. If they can have quick puck movement, they're going to cause the coverage to stay low. And that quarterback up high can let one rip. Takes the feed. Turn that one aside. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. McGregor's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Scores! And look at that. Wade, hang on a second here. I do not think this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. McGregor's won the draw center. Swing and a miss. Tucson's penalty killers get a hold of it. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Looking to set up offensively. Quick feed to McGregor. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Roadrunners look to start the transition game. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that's put to the right side. And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, when you're in tight like that, you always want to make the goaltender drop and move first, James, and I think it's the bite. The pause, the fake sell of the shot that gets the goaltender to move one way, and then he moves it to his forehand and puts it in the empty net. The Roadrunners desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Trying to get 2Q with it and loses possession. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Hammers it on net and makes the save. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Quick pass to Hebe. Stops that one. Dell has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Tough game, and you gotta fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Takes a shot, turns that one away. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Oh, a move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Ontario's got the puck. Pennelli's got it in the defensive end. The Roadrunners gain possession along the wall. 
and he takes the dish. Let's get the call. Well, the official is right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. The Roadrunners once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Quick shot! Makes the save, but barely with that one. Jennings ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they win the draw on their own end. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. A chance in the rush here. Takes a shot. out of real estate. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Rain have the puck shorthanded. They clear the zone. Chromiak's almost back on the ice. Solid effort by the penalty killing unit as the power play comes up empty. Power plays dictate games and this one did not and the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Here's a short pass to Madden. Oh, and he makes the save. Just got enough to keep it out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Ontario's got a 3-1 lead. Helene has won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. Here's a chance! Scores! Looking like me grabbing leftovers all over that rebound, and they put it home. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Roadrunners have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Puck grab by Drew. Keeps possession on the play. Swings it in front. And that chance is blocked. Ontario's moving it up the ice. And that's offside stopping the play. Ontario's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. The Roadrunners win the draw. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Tucson's got the puck. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. And he's ridden off the puck. Slides it up to Tromiak. Hellenius gains the zone. Tucson's got a hold of it against the wall. Smith's got the puck in his own zone. He got all of that hit. Sends the pass in front. And another pass. Another pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. More than half the period has expired. The Roadrunners still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. Here we go, puck's in deep. Quick stop! Big time stop by Malta! Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Ontario's regained possession of the puck. The Roadrunners ready to go on the attack. Feeds the cross ice pass to Smith. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Quick shot! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. A 
applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the complete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the way. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Ontario's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Receives the pass. And he makes a save on that play. Here they Red come on save. the attack down the right side. Turned aside by Volta. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the later stages of this period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. The Roadrunners come up with the defensive zone draw. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Fagamo's moving the puck through his own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Fagamo. Sends the pass over. Denies him! And he loses control here. Moves it to Fagamo. Here he is, shot right in front. Love the pressure on this shift, really dictating pace. They're like a wave of momentum, and they're tough to contain. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Fegamo. They've got numbers. Great reach with the poke check. Quick shot. Love save made by Valalta. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Ontario's won the draw. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed to Hellenius. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Ontario's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. It's down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Your seat for the upcoming playoffs. Call the box office for more information or check out our website. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. And this one's underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Tucson's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. They've got to do something when they get the puck, and they've got to be confident with it. And he slides it quickly to Drew. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in way. Tucson's got possession of the puck. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And now he moves it quickly to Drew. The Rain have the puck in their own end. Santini's stick handling in his own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And now he tries to get it across to Jennick. Rocked on the play. Well, this is just a fantastic shot. I mean, the goaltender is saying, hey, try and beat me glove hand. Well, guess what? He does. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. And he takes 
takes the feed. That opportunity is rejected. Great reach with the stick by Dory. Both sides mixed up in the battle for the puck along the wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Malota. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Bolalta's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and Coach can get the right personnel out there. Quick pass to Dory. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Here's a short pass to Houdon. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Maintains control of the puck. The Roadrunners have it now. Moves around along the half wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Chromiak's lugging the puck. And now he angles it across to Higgins. for himself and his teammates. Well, he's going to get rewarded for his efforts here, James, but it all starts from his anticipation and his breakaway speed to close away from the pack, and then he knows exactly what he's going to do, or at least he fools us and the goaltender because he puts it in the back of the net. The Roadrunners have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. He's got a little jump. All alone. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do. And in the interim, he ran out of space. Pennelli's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Moves it to Kroniak. Here's a chance he tries. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. No, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Ontario's got some fight in them tonight. Here we go, all tied up in the third. Yeah, these games are great, James, especially when they go back and forth right into the third period. But finally, they're taking advantage of the puck possession that they've had and cashing in on some opportunities. Nice poke check. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it over to Madden. Here's a shot. Oh, there's a great stop by Malota. The Reign have gained control of the puck along the wall. That save, and he makes it look easy. Takes the feed. Broken up by Santini. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. And that shot dies in traffic. Can't keep a hold of it. Thomas takes the puck. The Roadrunners have it now. Moves it quickly over to McCartney. Reaches out and uses the stick. Slides the puck over. Shot! And there's the save! Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. And they win the draw here in their own end. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Well, the goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. 
Ontario's jumped in front by one here to start this third period. Well, they're exactly where they want to be, James. They're leading this game. They're in the third period, and they're owning puck possession. Now it's just being aware, managing the puck, making sure if they're in trouble high in the offensive zone, they get it deep. Take care of the puck, and you'll take care of the game. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. The Rain have the puck on the attack. Here's a chance. Well, creativity and good body positioning opens up that lane, but just sails it over. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Swap up, swap up. Fagamo's got it along the wing. Quick feed to Houdon. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing by with the answer. Leonard's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Quick pass to Fedemo. Picks off the pass. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The Roadrunners send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Here's a short pass to Hicketts. Trying to clear, and they get it out. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Tymon's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Popcorn. Off the draw, they take possession. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Good hit on the play. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And he keeps possession. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Handles the puck. playing the win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way. But you can certainly finish it. Taken down. The officials caught it. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And yet another penalty is called. So out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Ward's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Jennings won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Sends the iron! The Ice Hawks looking to break the tie here, and they bring another one off the post. So frustrating, James. Risky play with the paddle, but it works. Houdon's taking it from his own end. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. Jones into the offensive zone now on the attack. Fires it on there. Way too much congestion blocks that. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Drew. Tynan's up and ready to get back on the ice. Ontario's penalty killers come up with a monstrous effort. Timing is everything, 
James, a critical moment of the game. You have a power play. You know how important it is, and you don't deliver. Real frustrating for the entire group. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Oh, he just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this from a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Sends a pass over. Ontario's got the puck. Slides it across to Santini. Moves it over to Fegamo. Strong defensive effort. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. The Roadrunners have the puck in the corner. Fantastic stick save by Dell. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes the save. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Oh, there's one more. Ontario's got the puck along the boards. And that's blocked from someone in front. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, and there's a great save by Dell. Puck picked up by Madden. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Tucson's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And that somehow stayed out of the net. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Takes that pass back at the point. There you go, three periods down, and still no winner. So we go to overtime. It's sudden death. Be cool. Don't be a fool and go anywhere. It's coming up next. Resume this power play. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and outwill his opponent to find the puck. Breakers gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they take possession after the defensive zone face-off. The Lopez last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. 
A big face-off here inside the offensive end. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Takes the pass. Takes the feed. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Critical draw here. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Fagamo's got it in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Slides the puck down low. And it's a quick pass to Santini. Here's a shot. Moves the puck across to McGregor. Gain momentum up along the side. Rocks him. Taken. Get him on a stick. The Rain have possession along the boards. Moves it to Madden. Shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Slides the puck across to Smith. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Tynan. Ontario's on the attack. Oh, that's a huge stop by Bolota. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Ontario's in now. Poked away by Drew. The Roadrunners gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Grabbed along the board by Drew. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And he makes a save there. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Madden. Ontario's ready to go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen and we will get a face-off. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. He was totally locked in on that play. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Roadrunners win the defensive zone face-off. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off. And he can get off. Shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. Across the line from center. Here's an offensive chance. Made that stop. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is sold to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important, and there's a lot of traffic in front, to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. The Roadrunners win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. That one misses and will play off. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Up along the wall by Fegamo. Quick feed to Tony. And it takes the pass. Looking to end it, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Fegamo. Turn that chance aside. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Tony's won the draw there on the attack. Off the inside Oh! <laughs> 
I mean, he's actually out there in the overtime, and then he delivers to get the game winner. Unbelievable. And the goaltender isn't going to like this. Anytime you lose the puck down low and you turn it over, you don't allow your goaltender or your coverage to get to position. This is a tough one. He's unable to get set, and he gets beat down low. Well, I certainly had a great time. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening. And we will see you at the next playoff game.